I'm saying, no, nah, man, you got to have bigger and better requirements than that. Because you were easy to get, you're easy to leave. Because there was no requirement and no investments. I said it before. Man, in the game, it's a principle. It's called a choosing fee. And it's called an interview fee. If the broad even want to sit down to see if she's interested, she got to give me an interview fee. Otherwise, she's going to play with your time. And if she want to get with me, she got to give me a choosing fee. And I say, you need to do the same thing in the square world. Guess what? If she want to go out to dinner, guess what? Make her pay for it. And guess what? If she's not willing to pay for it, she ain't serious about you. If she's serious about having a relationship with you and getting to, getting to know you, guess what? She wouldn't mind either paying for it or paying half. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. So Do you years. think a king in his kingdom, you know, tell tell his woman, hey, I'm only dealing with you? No, she see all the concubines around. So if you really out here saying that you a king, man, don't call yourself a king if you lying to your woman about what you're doing. You ain't a king. That's real. You know what I'm saying? You ain't a boss. Because a boss ain't lying to nobody because he the top of the pyramid. You know what I'm saying? So, but these dudes, they want to claim they this and they claim they that. Man, you can't be a boss and be lying to nobody at the same time. So, what I'm saying is, man, just be real with yourself. Be real with your situation. And this will save a lot of dudes from going to prison and being in real fucked up situations if you just kept it real. A woman could only be so mad at you when you let her know what it was. I let a woman know, hey, check this out. I'm going to do what I want when I want how I want, but I fuck with you, baby. You know, we got something special, you know, but if that's going to stop us from being together, then shit, it is, it is what it is. I want to let you know. And I let my woman know like this, too. If at any time things change in a month down the line, you say you're not with this arrangement, you're free to leave. If, any, if you OK with it today, but you're not OK with it next month, just let me know, because that's a principle from the game. You let a woman know when she come through the door. Hey, check this out. You ain't got to go to no police on me. Just come to me respectfully whenever you want to go and let me know. You ain't got to lie. You ain't got to do no weird stuff. Come to me as a woman. Let me know your grievances and we can part ways amicably, you know, give you some paper, get you the way you're going. That's principles from the game. And I just transition that to the square world. Hey, baby, these are my rules. If you want to come in here, you got to abide by them. But at any time, you don't want to abide by these, you're free to leave. Just let me know. It's a respect thing. And when you carry yourself with respect like that, that bitch ain't going to keep my car. She couldn't even find it in her soul because at the end of the day, she's going to be like, well, I mean, the nigga did tell me. So what the fuck she going to do? You know what I'm saying? And it saved you from a lot of drama. So you, let you, me, you let taking me, the let power me away from her. Yeah, let I'm me, taking let, the power away from let her. Let me inject. Uh, uh, see, see, the only thing, only thing that hurts us in today's society is that the police have become partners with these females yeah. through domestic violence. Yep, that's a fact. So what I mean by that is that you know you can be perfectly honest in the respects in which Goldie talking about and let them know this is that and the other, you know. And if they want to, you know, what I'm saying they have the power to destroy your empire. Yeah. You know, when when we were young. And when we were coming up, we would tell a woman, that's what it is, and it is what it was. Then, you know, it was more respected. You know, I remember I'd get into it with my hoes back in the day, and the police said, you and your girlfriends go home. Now, if you argue with somebody, the neighbor can call, yeah, and then you can go to jail from somebody just that perspective. That night. So, you know, that changes the dynamic a little bit because, you know, uh, the criminal justice system is real. And if you look at it from a hierarchy's perspective, right, you know, at one time, maybe 10 years ago, it was 2,000 federal to maybe 3,000 federal statutes. You know how many statutes it is now? I mean, 6,000. Do you wow. know you could go to jail now for, uh, if you go to Walmart, technically, listen to what I'm saying, this is very serious, and you open your car door and you scratch Goldie's Rolls Royce, right? You know what I'm saying? You, know, you, you scratch his Rolls Royce and you pull off. That's called fleeing the scene of an accident. Yeah. That's a felony. So, you know, when you got so many different little small things that is intricate within the law, it's kind of difficult for a lot of, you know, stand-up guys, you know, and there are some exceptions to really be stand-up because it's just really against us, man, right now. And, you know, the law is really, you know, uh, it's really bad on players, you know, and pimps and hustlers because, you know, you're almost forced to be a square. Like Goldie said, the woman hit him, you know, uh, he's gonna just walk away. He's gonna be amical, and then he's gonna walk away when the the, the the opportune time. That wasn't like that. Yeah, man, my daddy used to beat the shit out of my mama. The police been to my house so many times, never took daddy to jail. My uncles did the same thing, and it was more respect in the household. Women were more respectable. You know, they cooked, they cleaned, they fucking, they shut up. Hey man, the police is a woman's best friend now. And through domestic violence and through other things, the woman advocacy, me too, 
Yo, hey man, a man don't stand a chance. Hey man, the worst thing I could do to a woman is not put my hands on her, but not talk to her again. A woman would rather me put my hands on her than stop fucking with her. But guess what? The moment you put your hands on her, she All got the, the power because now she could be a victim. She loved that. Oh, now I'm a victim. Now I can show everybody my black eye. Now I know how to push your buttons. Anytime she can get you out of pocket and hurt her, now she got the power because she's making you get out of character. Woman ain't gonna get me out of character. That shit don't move me. You know I'm gone, and she know that. You know what I'm wow. saying? So and that's how you got to have it in your household. And it's crazy thing what Goldie's saying. Not only do we not do that, right? We're not going to put our hands on a woman. But the law forces us not to put yeah. our hands on a woman. It's yeah. a lot of dudes have developed discipline just from their interaction and encounters with the yeah. police. Yeah, you know? that's real. That's real. Um, Y'all did a lot of talking. You know, a lot of it been about relationships. A lot of it been about women in relationships with men or men in relationship with women or men just standing up being stand up guys. Uh Kamala Harris, one that you guys uh you probably about to vote for, like as a woman running this country, what is she gonna bring to the table different than what's been brought over previous time? Now I'm gonna ask you that part as well. Well you know I mean to you, I mean the the guy who who's vocally about uh, you know, his responsibility and his his position in a relationship when it goes to con running the country yeah. is it kamala kamala harris kamala yeah kamala. yeah what what do you think about kamala harris as to running the country and being there for 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 this work you know country well you know i'm a big advocate on speaking on what you know and i, I got to be honest you know i haven't really looked into the policies of kamala or any of the other parties running so for me to sit here and speak, I'd be speaking on just some things I've seen on the internet where it isn't truthful. Give back to me when I, you know, educate myself on the policies to give you a good answer, you know. I like to live what I preach, you know. <laughs> You're a politician. And I, like, <laughs> I like to you live what I preach. President, man. You know, I, I don't like when people just speak on things that they don't really understand, you know. So I'll give back to me when I get a little educated on her policies. Wow. So he got out of that one. Yeah. Yeah, he had to bail up out of that. Uh, and I don't blame you, boy, because it got touchy and it got touchy fast. You know what I'm saying? I basically brought that in there because of the way we've been speaking. I've been waiting on that question. I had that like a loaded gun, <laughs> gun, loaded gun. Under, the, under the table. You know what I'm saying? But you, you know, know, I got daughters, so you're cool. Wow. And, um, yeah, uh, so let's talk to let's talk to Goldie for a minute. Yeah, the man, man Goldie, with the please. plan. Man, Goldie, Goldie we want to ask Goldie. Goldie, Goldie, Goldie a little younger than me, you know, and I can look at him and tell he glistening over there. <laughs> Yeah, he, yeah, he get the pretty boy smile. You know what I'm no saying? Damage, God, what do you do? Do you even have? Do, okay, do you ever buy a woman roses, man? And you know, you know, and, and show her man, that you check, love her. Check this out, man. <laughs> Listen, when I was coming up, one of my one of my uncles, man, you know, he came to me and he was he was we was sitting down having a chopping session. He said, man, you know, you little niggas these days, y'all don't know nothing about no romance, right? He said. These niggas out here forget the woman is a woman first, whether you in the game, whether you here. And he taught me how to have romance with your woman, man. So, I mean, I definitely, you know, depending on the woman and how she like to be treated, I definitely gonna go out my way and do whatever she likes to do. You know, whether it's the vacation, whether it's some roses. Man, just the other day, man, I had a five-star chef come to the house. You know, the woman came in, rose petals on the ground, you know, all this nice thing. You know, I treat a woman like a woman. Dudes, they forget that. I talk this hard stuff. Man, that's just me standing on my principles. But I treat a woman like the way a woman wants to be treated. You know, and I feel like everybody should do that. Man, you ain't no player if you ain't got no romance in your game. If you feel Feel like you just finna be hard on a woman all day long, man. You gonna lose her, man. And when I get her, you ain't never gonna get her back. Cause I'm gonna do all the things that you ain't doing. <laughs> Damn, <yeah. laughs> you know That's what I'm saying? Goldie, so he, you know these dudes, they listen to too much music. You know they they pick and choose what they want to listen to, man. That woman is a woman first, man. So treat her as such, man. And she gonna she gonna respect it. She gonna appreciate it. And she gonna in turn treat you like a king if you treat her like a queen. But you know don't treat no no tramp no bum like a queen. You know she got to be qualified and you got to have standards. And that's another thing I want to touch on. These dudes have no standards. Right. I don't understand. These dudes will accept a woman just because she's she said, OK, you didn't have her jump through no hoops. You didn't make her qualify for nothing. You have to start having stand as long as she don't cheat on me, as long as she, you know, she cooking, she clean and don't give me a problem. That's good enough for most of these dudes. I'm saying, no, nah, man, you got to have bigger and better requirements than that because you were easy to get. You're easy to leave because there was no requirement and no investments. I said it before, man, in the game, it's a principle. It's called a choosing fee. And it's called an interview fee. If the broad even want to sit down to see if she's interested, she got to give me an interview fee. Otherwise, she's going to play with your time. And if she want to get with me, she got to give me a choosing fee. And I say, 
you need to do the same thing in the square world. Guess what? If she want to go out to dinner, guess what? Make her pay for it. And guess what? If she's not willing to pay for it, she ain't serious about you. If she's serious about having a relationship with you and getting to, getting to know you, guess what? She wouldn't mind either paying for it or paying half. You know right. what I'm saying? Wow. So what I'm saying is start having requirements. What's easy to get is easy to let go. You, that's why they require a down payment on a car. Otherwise, everybody would say, yep, I want it. I'll come back. No, you got to put your money down and you're going to lose this deposit if you don't come back. Start having requirements. A man with no requirements isn't a valuable man. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.